Hi, my name is John Grady, and I'm a senior analyst at Tech Targets Enterprise Strategy Group. Pleased to be joined today by Vinod Sundaraj at Fortinet. Today, we're going to be talking about network firewalls for public cloud infrastructure. So, Vinod, thanks for joining me. Thanks for inviting me, John. So, we've seen an acceleration in cloud migration, and this has really created organizational changes and really, in some ways, distributed security influence and responsibility more broadly across IT teams, especially among non security personas and born in the cloud companies, there's been interest in firewalls from cloud service providers. And a big reason why is usability. So our research has found that 48% say they use CSP firewalls due to ease of management, 46% say they use them for ease of use, and 41% for scalability. So that's one side of the coin. But where is there an opportunity for improvement over these types of firewalls? Um, absolutely, you're right. Um, like uh, developer folks and uh, born in the cloud companies uh, prefer to use native uh, cloud provider services as much as possible um, because of inherent advantages. Um, but uh, when it comes to security, uh, many of the cloud provider firewalls are what I call uh, first generation offerings. In uh, many cases, they provide basic protection, um, like up to ELF layer four or uh, using ACLs and such. But the security doesn't extend, uh, you know, in terms of depth or breadth to the, uh, I would say, level of security needed by enterprises. The enterprises require application layer visibility and control. They require advanced security like IPS and anti-malware protection, which cloud providers do not offer it uh, in depth. And even if they did, much of the work that is needed to update the security packages so that the signatures are current and such falls on the end user. And uh, these kind of things are taken care of well by ISVs uh, like Fortinet, uh, you know, who can offer a managed service. So Fortinet obviously started in the traditional on-premises firewall space, but it's been protecting public cloud environments for a long time with its FortiGate, virtual FortiGate next generation firewalls. But now you've just recently introduced the FortiGate cloud native firewall on AWS. So just briefly tell us how this is different from the virtual next gen firewalls you've historically offered. When you look at the virtual firewalls, you know, our offering is called FortiGate VM. And what we are announcing is the FortiGate CNF, which is a managed service. From a security functionality perspective, they are very similar. In fact, I would say they are the same. The difference arises in uh, the customer's preference with regards to their environment and use cases, you know, how they want to control the environment. For most customers we have seen, they want to offload the management of the security infrastructure itself to an ISV or a cloud provider. And for those kind of customers, the FortiGate CNF managed service is the right fit. On the cloud, it's all about a frictionless experience and it's about ease of use and automation and flexible consumption. And the managed firewall service offering checks all those requirements. Now, we've been talking about the public cloud, but the reality is that most organizations now support a mix of on-premises and public cloud infrastructure. Our research has found that 75% are either currently using or plan to adopt a hybrid cloud model in the next 12 to 24 months. So thinking about firewall management, how does the FortiGate CNF address this scenario? Many customers uh, are in different phases of their uh, digital acceleration. Some of them are more weighted towards cloud migration. Some are uh, have more of their infrastructure running on the cloud, and uh, they are probably expanding the footprint on the cloud, but the majority of them still have an on-prem presence and maybe some data center presence as well. In these cases, adopting an approach where uh, consistency of security is ensured across these diverse environments is important uh, so that there's a robust security posture for the company. And Fortinet offers Forti Manager, uh, which is our single pane of glass management application that can be utilized to uh, define and deploy security policies that are consistent uh, both on the cloud and on-premises. Let's talk a little bit more about ease of use. So there's the policy side of things and how the rules are managed, but cloud environments are dynamic and resources are ephemeral. So when it comes to provisioning the FortiGate CNF, what's involved? How does it enable cloud and security teams to work more efficiently? FortiGate CNF is a cloud-native managed firewall service. So there is no infrastructure for the customer to manage in terms of resources, in terms of training, et cetera. Uh, all of that is uh, taken care of by Fortinet. What the customer is actually doing on with the FortiGate CNF service is they're focusing on essentially the security policy definition deployment. 
And we have also made that easier by providing the customers what we call as dynamic object-based policies, uh, wherein uh, these policies use metadata tags uh, to enforce security, you know, where needed and when needed. And this removes any burden on the customer uh, to write policies that are essentially attached to network addresses. So the dynamic objects essentially provide the customer with a more easy to use policy structure uh, that can be implemented more efficiently. We also integrate with uh, AWS Firewall Manager. And by doing so, uh, developer operations teams can operate security along with the rest of the infrastructure through the AWS console, through streamlined cloud workflows. Great. Well, Manod, I think that's about all the time we have for today. So thanks so much for joining me. More information about the FortiGate CNF is available at fortnet.com. And thank you all for watching.